top ongoing mega projects in Tanzania. Tanzania now leads in terms of project value and the number of projects that will break ground by June 2022. The government of President Samia Suluhu is implementing the National Five-Year Development Plan, which intends to foster industrialization for economic transformation and human development from 2018 to 2022. East African countries are competing fiercely to build and renovate infrastructure megaprojects in the drive for economic competitiveness aimed at attracting investment and encouraging development. The following are Tanzania's most important ongoing megaprojects. In the previous five years, Eastern African countries have expanded their infrastructure investment, with Tanzania leading the way in terms of the value and number of projects that broke ground by June of last year. The six-phase government has continued to push through large-scale development projects all around the country. Prime Minister Kassim Majlouwa took up the baton yesterday, inspecting the ongoing Tanzanite Bridge project in Dar East Salam, after President Samia Salubu Hassan completed a successful project launching trip in the Wanza region earlier this week. The 1.03-kilometer-long, 20.5-meter-wide bridge is being built across the Indian Ocean. The ultra-modern bridge intends to reduce traffic congestion on Ali Hassan Winnie Road, which carries a large number of cars to and from the city center. A total of 5.2 kilometers of roadways will be upgraded as part of the project's implementation to connect the two sides of the bridge. Bagamoyo Port, $11 billion. Outgoing President Jackie Akikwi, who placed the foundation stone, hails from Bagamoyo, 75 kilometers up the coast from Dar Ez Salam. China Merchants Holdings International and Oman State Government Reserve Fund are funding the project. Bagamoyo was the first German colonial city in East Africa, and it served as a significant holding center for slaves before being transported to markets on the island of Zanzibar during the slave trade. The new Bagamoyo port is being built at a time when Tanzania is losing a lot of trade and commerce prospects as a result of the Dar East Salam port's inefficiency. The construction of the Bagamoyo port will also include the construction of a 34-kilometer road between Bagamoyo and Landisi, as well as a 65-kilometer railway connecting Bagamoyo to the Tanzania-Zambia railway, to Zara, and the Central Railway. The ambitious Bagamoyo port is presently being created in Tanzania, together with 190 industries erected across a 1,700-hectare special economic zone adjacent to the port, thanks to collaboration between Tanzania, China, and Oman. This massive infrastructure project, estimated to cost around $11 billion, aims to become Africa's largest port. Once completed in 2004 to 5, the port should be able to accommodate 20 million containers per year. Tanzania will be positioned as a regional economic powerhouse as a result of the initiative. SGR Project in Tanzania as part of the East African Railway Master Plan, the Tanzania Standard Gauge Railway is being built to connect the country to neighboring countries, Rwanda and Uganda, and through these two, to Burundi and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. After Kenya and Ethiopia, Tanzania will be the third country in East Africa to receive modern railway services. Kenya was the first country in the region to start building an SGR line, completing nearly 500 kilometers between Mombasa and Nairobi in June 2017 and launching passenger services. The government is building a new 700-kilometer electric railway line from Dar es Salaam to Morogoro and Dodoma utilizing domestic resources. The entire project spans 2,707 kilometers, with three branches connecting Dar es Salaam to Kigoma, 1,251 kilometers, Tabora to Wanza, 379 kilometers, and Kaliwa to Panda, 210 kilometers. The project is expected to boost cargo and passenger traffic along the core route. It is anticipated to cost 14 trillion Tanzanian shillings as one of Tanzania's mega infrastructure projects. The SGR rail project will provide a safe and dependable way of transporting people and freight to and from the Dar East Salam port once it is completed. Following the completion of a transmission line, Tanzania has begun testing the electrical equipment on the first section of its standard gauge railway, SGR, from Dar-e-Salam to Morogoro, the first electrified line in East Africa. 
Tanzania plans to open phase one of the SGR, which runs from Dar es Salaam to Morogoro and is 205 kilometers long later this year. Expansion of the Dar es Salaam port. The port of Dar es Salaam, Tanzania's busiest port, handles over 95% of the country's cargo. The Dar es Salaam Harbor No. 1 Seven Berths Reconstruction and Expansion Project, which was contracted by Czech, will boost the port's yearly throughput by 26% to 17.65 million tons. The Berths launch signals that the project's development is nearing completion and creates a firm platform for follow-up work and project completion. The government, on the other hand, is working on a scheme to increase the size of seven berths from 8 to 15 meters. With the development, the port will be able to accept larger vessels capable of carrying up to 19,000 containers. The project was expected to be finished by the end of 2020, allowing the Tanzania Port Authority TPA, to enhance container throughput from roughly 20 million containers per year to 28 million tons per year. The port will be able to handle ships that are longer than 304 meters, up from 204 meters now. New Likingoma Kinga Liquefied Natural Gas Plant LNG is well known for being an environmentally benign energy source with low carbon dioxide and sulfate emissions. Green Fur can deliver the best skid-mounted solution for the structure of LNG value chain solutions. The LNG project, which is valued at $30 billion, has become the region's most valuable investment. The LNG project is expected to contribute roughly 7% to the country's economic growth once completed. International Airport in Dodoma The project is part of a larger plan to improve the country's infrastructure in East Africa. It will be built 12 kilometers from Dodoma at M. Salato. A passenger terminal, a runway, and accompanying infrastructure will be included. The new airport, which is expected to take four years to construct, will have a capacity of 1 million passengers per year with a runway that is just over 2 kilometers long. The finance package includes an Africa Development Bank, a FDB, loan of $198.6 million, a $52 million loan from the African Development Fund, and $50 million in co-financing from China's Africa Growing Together Fund, which the FDB oversees. These are Tanzania's current mega-projects. I'm sure it's not surprising for a country to have mega-projects, but those of this country demonstrate how, in the coming years, the country's development will exceed our expectations. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel, as well as turn on your notifications for new videos if you have not already done so. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more educational videos.